Next up on WTV, freshmen practice the star, ISM final presentation night, and this week's edition of Trivia. WTV's daily update starts now. Hey there, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Monday, April 17th, and I'm Varun Sarvana with today's daily update, brought to you by Wingspan TV. Hours upon hours of research, meeting with mentors. It all comes to a conclusion for ISM students tonight. WTV's Wesley Broder has the details. Rather than teachers standing at the front of classrooms, ISM students are going to be the ones leading presentations for tonight's final presentation night. These guys have researched their career fields uh, for an entire year and they have showcased their work in various ways through research speeches, through assessments, through gallery walks, through showcase and now leading to final presentation night. It has been an honor to facilitate my students learning this year. Open to juniors and seniors, ISM is a program that allows students to pursue passions that may not be part of school curriculum. From when I was in middle school and seeing this one girl who pursued veterinary medicine and I got to see her mentor and her work, I really got inspired to join this program. So I've been really prepared to join this program for years and it's been a dream come true coming here as I really got to work with animals and a really good mentor and really got to see them in action and what my life could be like in the future. Reporting for WTV, so I'm Wesley test? Broder. Because of star testing tomorrow, students might see some changes to their schedule. Freshmen will take the English 1 EOC and sophomores will take the English 2 EOC tomorrow morning. In years past, students were proctored through a physical paper test and few had the option to take an online test. But with recent adaptation to virtual learning, 2023 marks the first year that all STAR tests are online. Freshmen and sophomores will need to bring their Chromebooks or laptops for testing. The tests are held in classrooms, so juniors and seniors without STAR exams will have late arrival. This means the normal school day will start with third period for all students. Non-testing students who take the bus will still be provided with transportation on a different schedule. With the first STAR exam tomorrow, students have been taking practice tests to be as prepared as possible. WTV's Luke Bishop has more information. Teachers in some core classes have been giving their students practice STAR exams. Trying to get in the end of course mindset, biology teacher Madison Gantrell is trying to put students in the same situations as they would be given in the actual EOC. So the practice EOC that we did actually came straight from the state. We had to um, have the district sign us up to have each student have their testing ID. For students, the practice EOC can be beneficial. I think that it helped me get a better understanding of what the questions are going to be like on the actual EOC. Using the data presented from the results on the practice EOC, Contrell has been giving students practice material based on the questions they struggled on. Based on the data that we got for each student, we will be practicing um, with EOC questions for the categories that each student needs individually. Reporting for WTV, I'm Luke Bishop. Humanity students are getting a chance to make a documentary about the effect technology has on society. WTV's Aditi Shah has a story. Throughout the year, the Humanities students have completed many projects. The latest is a project on the positive and negative effects of technology on topics throughout history. Students get to work in groups and create a documentary to present their ideas. We're just hoping that students get to do a deep dive into something they're more interested in and then also learn how to analyze this information in a way that's meaningful. Even the fact of putting together a documentary is really helping them. Freshman Gia Sharma's group plans to create a less traditional style of documentary to present their topic. Our topic for the documentary project is to is feminism and the way technology has impacted feminism throughout the ages. So our plan is basically to kind of incorporate a movie style as well as a documentary style to just make a well informative, engaging, and just interactive video. Reporting for WTV, I am Aditi Shah. On this week's edition of Trivia, WTV's Alex Dovrino is bringing it back to the basics with some general knowledge. Hi, I'm Alex Buck with today's episode of Tribute Trevino, and today I'll be asking students about general knowledge. What is the most common last name of the United States? <laughs> Brown. Brown. Brown, like Mr. Brown. Oh, it's not Scoop. I don't think it's Bach. Would it be? No, it's not Dot. I'll go Smith. Smith? Yeah, All right. Smith. I, I, 
I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Smith. Drake. What artist has the most streams on Spotify? Um, did he start from the bottom? Yeah, I think so. Is he here now? Might be. Oh, but Drake. Would you say he's from the six? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'd have yeah. to say so. He's from the six. Um, he has a passage named after him. Frank Sinatra. Champagne Poppy. The most streams on Spotify. Um, probably Apollo. How many minutes are in a, a week? Ten thousand eighty. Eleven thousand. One, two, three. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, even number. Absolutely. 1,080. Enough to get that bag. Who is the ancient Greek god of the sun? Bro, that's Poseidon. Jason Tatum. Zeus. I actually have um, four sons that I'm the god of. They're on a quad <laughs> Water Wars team. Who sucks at golf? That's Jake Harvey. Jake Harvey? Jake Harvey. Um, a member of the greatest Water Wars team in the game. We got Scoop recently. Jake Harvey. If I had to say one, because there's only one that's like really, really bad, I'd probably say Jake Harvey. Who still? Oh, man, that's a tough one. Not really, it's Jake Harvey. <laughs> Reporting for WTV, I'm Alex Reno. Hi, welcome to Coach Glidwell's Trivia. <laughs> Here we go. Whose phone number is 867 5309? 867-5309. It's the one girl in a song. I don't know. And, um, Preston Mealy. <laughs> Uh, Yours? No. Uh, it's Jenny. Jenny. Jenny's number, baby. <laughs> Jenny's, number. Jenny's number. Way to Google. <laughs>you are looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Or visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. And now for today's announcements. Aid for Need is hosting an animal shelter drive for the Dallas Animal Shelter. The drive is mainly for dog supplies, but any other items would also be appreciated. Small items such as leashes are worth two hours. Medium items like bags of dog food or bowls are worth three hours. Large items like cages are worth five hours. You can turn them in at Miss Franco's room in C215 by April 21st. From now until April 27th, there's an art show in room H102 in the art hall featuring works from Al Zhang, Giselle Moss, Grayson Myers, Adlin Mosa, Shruti Shah, Ananya Ramesh, and Ananya Namiyar. Here is your daily SEA Earth Month fact about sustainability. An energy smart clothes washer can save more water in one year than one person drinks in an entire lifetime. Join the students for environmental action remind using code at libsea22. That's it for today's daily update. This is Varun Sarvanan for Wingspan TV.